G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is how to work out area. Um, so first off we're going to have a look at the units of area. So area pretty much, I'll write that word up there, area is basically the uh, part of a surface that is inside a boundary. So I'll give you an example here. It's, it's in a two dimensional sort of thing. So first off I think it's really important to get this idea of dimensions. So we have one dimensional, 1D, we have 2D, and we have 3D. Now look, I think a lot of people know what uh, 3D is, because we'll get to that in a second, because 3D TV, but one dimension is where we just have, say, something like length. Two dimensions is where we have, say, length and width. So an object that is flat is said to be two-dimensional. When you look at a television, and not a 3D TV, it's two dimensions, or a picture, okay? It has a length and it has a width. But a 3D shape, has a length, a width, and maybe a depth, you want to call it. Okay, so a length, a width, and a depth. It has three dimensions. Okay, and this is why it's called three dimensions. Um, so, with area, the one we're looking at is we're looking at two dimensional shapes. Okay, so let's get rid of these other two. So, we'll be looking at 2D shapes when we're looking at area. Now, I just want to get into the units that we use when we look at 2D shapes. So first off we might use for really small areas, we might use say something like uh, square millimetres. So we measure area in squares. So for example, we might have uh, a shape like this, we want to know how big it is. We get, the, so we, maybe this thing here is 4 centimetres, this here is 3 centimetres, and so I could mark them, one, two, three, four, and this is one, two, three. And if we were to cut these up, you would see I've cut them up four times this way, and three times this way. We end up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve of these squares. Okay, and these squares are basically how we measure two-dimensional shapes. Okay, so for really, really small shapes, we might use, uh, say, something like millimetres squared. We write that like this, millimetres squared, or we might even call it square millimetres. Uh, say something like the uh, area of a postage stamp, okay? So say this was a postage stamp, we would probably use square millimetres, okay? Uh, say we were working out, say, something like the area of your computer screen here, which is measured probably you can measure it across in centimetres and centimetres, we would actually end up using, say, something a bit different, which is square centimetres. Uh, but a lot of the time what we actually use, say, look at the floor around you and that, which is measured more in metres. Metres about a fairly decent sized step. We actually measure, say, the classroom or the room you're in right now in square metres. Okay? Uh, often when they talk about selling, selling houses, they talk about square meters and don't confuse these with building squares which are something slightly different um, and then if you get into really really big things to so say we we're talking about the area of say an ocean or or a big park or something we might even talk about this in terms of square kilometers okay but the idea that you have to get with these is that they're this sort of shape so this would be like if it's a square centimeter it would be quite literally a centimeter by a centimetre. Or if it was a square metre, it would be a metre by a metre. Okay, so if you could actually imagine a metre this way and a metre that way, and that was what we'd call a metre squared. And that's how we measure two dimensional objects. So let's have a look at this and let's work out how to work out area. So area is worked out as follows. To work out the area of a rectangle is fairly easy, a rectangle or a square. The way we do this is as follows. So, say this here was 4 centimetres and this one here is 3 centimetres. The way that we work out the area of a standard rectangle or a square is just length times width. Okay, so this would be area equals this, so we would call this say the length, here is 4 centimetres times the width, which is 3 centimetres, 
so all up this would equal so here's one two three four and here's one two three we'd end up with one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve centimeters squared so that's the way we work out the area of a rectangle we're going to have a look at rectangles we're going to look at triangles and we're also going to look at these things which are more composite shapes uh, in, a, in a different video so i'll look at triangles in this video um, so say we wanted to work out the area of a different rectangle i'll get you to work this one out and then we'll look at the area of some triangles because they're nice and easy too so say i want you to work out the area of this rectangle it measures uh, three meters by four point five meters. Okay, how would you work this out? This is a bit nastier, all right? Because what I've actually done is I've given you a half meter here, but the idea is the same: area equals length times width. So this equals the length, which is. 4.5 meters times the width which is 3 meters so 4.5 times 3 and what's the answer to that the answer to that is 13.5 meters squared okay what about I get you working at the area of a triangle because rectangles as you probably agree now are really really easy to work out what about I get you working at the area of a triangle so let's do that right now but write the rest of my area here um, so a triangle um, now I'm going to give you a bit of a hint with this I'm going to give you a length which is uh, what about I go uh, five centimeters and this one can be four centimeters Okay, how would you work out the area of this? Now, you're going to see, if we go length by width, what that would actually work out is not this triangle. It would actually work out a rectangle that was this shape. Okay, that is the worst square I have ever drawn. The worst rectangle. It would work out a rectangle which was this shape. Okay, correct. And if we did that, let's do that. We went length times width. We would get the answer of 5 times 4, which would equal... 20 centimeters squared but you're going to notice we're not doing half we're not doing the the whole of this rectangle we're actually doing half of it okay so what do we do we actually halve our answer so this divided by 2 equals 10 centimeters squared and this is the reason often when you hear about uh, people talking about triangles and the area of them they give you this formula instead which is um, you might see it written down as say not length times width but half length times width or quite commonly you also see this written as half base times height but it's pretty much the same thing okay so let's use this particular formula to work out the area of this triangle here so if we were to do this triangle here we need a couple of things what we need is we need a base okay which is this distance here so say I'm going to call this 10 centimeters we also need a height which is this bit here okay so I'll call this 8 centimeters okay the height's not this distance here it's not this distance here the height is this distance here and you might see that this is actually half a rectangle it would be this sort of shape you, you might even want to draw it around in fact I'll do that I'll draw this rectangle around. Okay. And you might see that this bit matches this bit and this bit matches this bit. So it does actually work. So let's work at the area here. This area equals half length times width equals a half of the length, which is a half of ten times the width, which times the height, or a half the length times the width or a half of 10 times 8. Um, in fact, I might even change this. Look, I, as long as you're halving one of these answers, it actually doesn't matter. So I, I, I te yes, technically, if I'm doing the length, I probably should do, well, which one? So let's do the half the base times the height. Maybe that's a nicer way of saying it. Okay, so half of the base is half of 10 
times the height, which is eight. Okay, but you're going to see the formula is much the same, and it doesn't matter. If you were to work out half of eight and times it by ten, it's going to be the same as halving ten and times it by eight. So half of ten is five times eight, and these are both in centimetres. So this is, uh, if I could actually write this, this is actually five centimetres times eight centimetres, and this equals forty centimetres. There's two lots of them. It's squared. Okay, and that's the area of our triangle there. So that's the way we go about working out areas. Hopefully, you're pretty good with those. Anyway, see you next time.